What up guys, here's another day. I want to take first off, thank you all my new subscribers for the support. Thank you and all subscribers, or subscribers, my followers on my Instagram and TikTok. Thank you for all that. Uh, for today and this weekend, we're going to take things easy because one, I, uh, I'm in a boot. <laughs> yeah, I hurt my toe. I broke a, well, I broke it. I fractured my middle third toe, what they call it. Uh, the first joint you guys want to know uh <laughs> there's a dutch oven that was in my hallway used to cook it well the dog was barking in the living room on the door for some reason that's something i don't know what came running out of the room a little bit and i smacked that dutch oven underneath it with my foot and just bam and yeah it hurt let's just say my foot was nice and swollen so i have a fractured toe on the joint of the third toe where it bends on the tip uh not fun it hurt and i'll tell you what this last week working yeah it sucked anyway we're just gonna take things easy uh with the ranger or the chuck wagon i should say what we named it we are gonna do pre preventative maintenance we're gonna check fluids and other things the uh, brush guard in the front of it's come a little loose so we gotta tighten the bolts up on that um just do some stuff i got like a little clicking noise coming from one of the front wheels i'm not sure what it is so we're gonna pop off the wheels and see what's going on. I'm hoping it's just something, I'm just hearing things or whatever, but that's what we're doing. Right now that thing is sitting right there, so. Yeah, we're gonna get it pulled in here and check on a few things. Oh, and the other thing too, I mentioned before about it, that the shift linkage, I don't know if it's in a previous video, but it wasn't going in the park all the way. Uh, after I pulled the motor out for that second time after the oil pump failed, the linkage got stretched or moved a little bit. Anyway, we gotta get under there and realign all the linkage and everything so it goes in the park right uh because it doesn't sometimes and it tends to roll when you like you know see it still thinks it's in neutral or reverse when you put off where it's in between the two but anyway we're gonna get that fixed and hopefully everything works good so we're gonna get in here and get this all taken all right guys well it's in here it's all the way in here because we're gonna work on this end and then We'll do is we'll back up and put it over this way, and then we'll work on that side, see what's going on. I'm thinking it's going from the driver's side, but, but uh, yeah, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, we got the tire off, as you can tell. I got the hub off, the locking hub. And now I've got this part. I'm not sure that this is supposed to be that loose. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember what's on the inside of this thing. So what we got to do is basically just kind of take this apart and see what the hell is going on here. Because this is just... This is weird. I mean, everything looks to be in place, but I don't get why this is so loose. Anyway, we're going to pop that up and find out. Well, guys, I think we got a little bit of bad news and some good news. Good news is this is totally separate from the axle bearings. So, I've been looking at these guys. You have the one bearing in here behind the seal, which I know they're brand new. They get, you know, things, but I've been feeling this one's brand new too. But uh, there was a little bit of, I can't remember what this was, but there was something wrong with it. Now it's kind of like, it's driving me a little nuts, but I don't know what the heck it is. So we're gonna check the other side too, just to see what is going on other than that. So, uh,
just a little off. No problem, I got idling right now because I gotta check fluids and stuff on transmission wise and everything else. And just, you know, let it run for a little bit, check transmission fluid. So I gotta do a little more work on it tomorrow. This is the project for tomorrow. We're doing a couple things. Obviously, I don't know if you guys know, that's a bit loose. I get that tightened up. Uh, we're gonna work on, hoping, crossing my fingers, we're gonna work on the interior, but I also wanna get some lights. I have a light bar sitting right here. I wanna mock that up. I also got a couple lights in the drawer I wanna get mocked up. And put on, I got some lights I've had for six months hanging on the wall too. I wanna get mocked up and either installed or semi-installed. But anyway, we're gonna do that. Right now, we're gonna go take it for a little ripski. See how the, the bearings are, because like I said, the bearings on the one side, they were just junk on that driver's side, so we had to replace them. But like that, it seems pretty easy. And she's running great. The idling, that's fine now, so. Gotta do another oil change on her. Last oil change, 4,000. Finished breaking this motor in, so. Yeah, I just getting there. Got less than 1,000 miles on the motor. <laughs> Close to it. Welcome back. It is the next day. Yes, I had to take a break and do some other stuff like Halloween stuff yesterday. Yes, it was Halloween anyway. But uh, we're working on this. We're going to get a couple things done like this bumper. Uh, I'm going to work on the interior a little bit, clean up the interior, and try to get the dash back together and uh, get the interior cleaned up a little bit, try to get it cleaned out. But that's what we're going to be doing. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy it. But start with this bumper. I'm pretty sure uh, these bolts here are missing the nut on the back because... Obviously, they're a lot more tight. That's weird. But uh, we're just going to start with that go from there. We already checked all fluids last time and everything else. We might have somebody that's wanting to help help do a couple things, mock up a couple things. I got the light I explained up there. We got some um, cab lights there we're going to put on. Maybe maybe we'll see. But I already have the other project here, too, so I got to get this out of here. Dash is completely back together. 
including this guy here. I had to run some duct tape because the screws are broken on it. But when we're cleaning out this back, look at this thing too. Oh, look at this! Oh, I'm cleaning out the back. Look at this. Actually, just found a dollar. A dollar in the truck. Yay! Woo! Very interesting. But uh, that's gonna end it for that. So. If you guys like it like it share it subscribe it leave us a comment also follow me on tiktok we're growing faster on tiktok than i actually am growing on my youtube channel so anyway, get that going thank you all my subscribers as well anyway, i'll talk to you guys in the next segment of whatever we do next anyway thank you there peace